Hello, what's up YouTube? In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can easily understand hue, saturation, and luminous in order to color grade your images better in Camera Raw or even in Lightroom. If at all you don't understand hue, saturation, and luminous and what those sliders can do, this is a tutorial for you. And before you can proceed, I have a very simple request. And that request is just smash the like button on this video. Just smash the like button on this video so that YouTube can push it to more people interested in learning about color grading in Photoshop or those people having issues with doing the color grading or the best way to color grade the images in Camera Raw or even in Lightroom. So for this case, we're just going to be focusing more on the color mixer option or the hue, saturation and luminance option within the Camera Raw filter or even in Lightroom. So a brief information about this image. I shot this image using a Canon 6D camera and ISO 100 using my Tamron lens 70-200mm and I shot it at f3.2 and the shutter speed was 1 out of 1250th of a second so the way I think you have to understand about color grading is you can color grade well if at all the colors of your photos are not accurately displayed on your laptop or on your screen or on your monitor so that is the very first thing you have to take into consideration because if at all your monitor is displaying false colors or colors that are not truly really accurate enough, it means that you're going to be getting the color grading wrong. So make sure that you have the colors or you have your monitors or your computer screen calibrated so that it can accurately show you the best colors. And for my case, I'm using a MacBook to edit and Mac, most MacBooks really have very nice and accurate colors so before color grading i tend to make sure that i do those basic lighting corrections on the image and after doing that we're just going to scroll all the way down to our color mixer option or it is the hue saturation and luminance so hsl is hue saturation and luminance so we just want to understand how we can do that or incorporate it within our images in order to color grade well or better. So right now, let's also go look at hue. So because the hue is a more challenging side or slider within the color mixer or the hue saturation and luminance option. So let's just look at the hues. So if at all I'm um, to look at, for example, the blues in the sky right here so if at all you look at the hues we have reds oranges yellows greens blues aquas and they are going to be the same colors within the three options so we have hues so for example if at all i'm to play around with the hues of the blues for example and i move the slider of the blues towards the left hand side just look at how the blues are turning out to look so meaning when I, I move a hue of a given color towards my left hand side it means I'm going to be making that specific color look like the color right on top of it let me just repeat this if at all I'm to move the hues of the blues towards my left hand side or towards my negative side it means that I'm going to make my blues to look like the color right on top of the blue color I hope I'm making sense and when I'm moving the blue slider towards the right hand side or towards the positive side it means I'm making the blues look like the color right below it so just put that at the back of your mind so moving the slider towards the left hand side it means I'm making the color look like the color on top of it, which is the aquas. And if at all I'm, I move it to the right hand side, I'm making the blues more purple, which is the color below the blues. So that is how the hue works. And saturation is more like the intensity of a given color. So by intensity, I mean how much of a color that we need in an image. For example, if at all I'm to use the blue steel for this case and I move the blue slider towards the right hand side, 
It means I'm making the blows concentrated or I'm just increasing on the intensity of the blows within the image. And if at all I'm to take the blow slider towards the left hand side, which is the negative side, I'm removing the blows from the image. So I hope you just take that into consideration. So that, that is how saturation works. And now we have luminance. Luminance is more like how it, it even sounds. Luminance is light. So luminance is more of how light or how dark a given color is. I hope I'm making sense. For example, I'm just going to be using the greens for this case. So if at all I move the slider, you can see at this slider, for example, the greens, the green slider is dark on the negative side or on the left hand side and it is bright on the right hand side so all the sliders are going to be in that kind of format so if at all i move the green slider towards the negative side which is my left hand side it is going to be making the greens in the photo darker so you can see the before and after it has just made the greens darker and if at all i want to brighten up the greens in this image i'm going to take the green slider towards my right hand side and it is going to be making uh, the greens lighter in that case so luminous is how bright or how dark a given color is saturation is the intensity of a given color and hue is more of changing a color to look like a color beneath it within the these are more like the colors in the rainbow yeah so we'll be targeting a color either on top when we are changing the slider towards the left hand side and when we tend to move the slide of a given color towards the right hand side we'll be making the color look like the color just below it so we just want to put that in a practical sense of it so for this case let's just try color grading this image for example when color grading, I tend to work more with skin tone first before I can color grade the environment or the surrounding area of my subjects. So for this case, you can say I have oranges, which are in the skin tones. So skin tone is orange, reds, and yellows. So for this case, I tend first of all darken my oranges and you can see that that makes the skin tone really dark and a little bit richer and it eliminates the whitish feel within the skin tone and I tend to come to the hues and when I turn when I move the hues of the reds for example if at all you have red within the skin tone when you move it towards the right hand side you'll be making those reds a little bit more orange and that looks quite better and more natural it eliminates the magentas within the skin tone and when I move the orange slider towards the left hand side which is targeting the reds I'll be making the oranges more red in uh, the photo so that is how we are going to be doing this and now I feel like I really I'm not a fan of this kind of green so I tend to either make the green a little bit more yellow or I tend to make the green look a little bit aquaish. So I'm just going to leave it at 100%. But this doesn't look good. And that is why we have to go into the saturation bit of it. So I'm just going to come to the saturation and simply desaturate those greens so that they don't look a little bit awkward. So just turn it down. And I'm going to come to my luminance and I'm going to play around with the sky color so I feel like I want to darken more the cloud so that I can look a little bit more pronounced just going to take this down just like that and you can see it makes the sky dark and richer you can see a before and after for the sky area so I feel like I want to make a sky a little bit more blue in color I'm just going to come the saturation and slightly move up the saturation of the blues just like that then I feel like I should alter the color the blue color in the sky so I'm just going to come to the hues and make my blues a little bit more towards my aquas just like that so let's see the before and after for the color grading right now this is the image before 
and this is the after before after before and after so basically this is how you can use the hue saturation and luminance to color grade the images in photoshop and a quick recap hue is more of changing a color to either look like the color on top of it or the color beneath it so moving the hues of the oranges towards the left hand side is going to be making the oranges more red in color and moving the hue slider towards the right hand side is going to be making the oranges more of the yellows and saturation is the intensity of or how much of a color you are needing in an image so when you take the saturation slider towards the left hand side you'll be reducing on the intensity of that color and towards the right hand side you'll be intensifying or increasing on the amount of that color and luminous is how bright or how dark a given color is so this is all for this story and if at all you have loved this don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more amazing shows and don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating